Hey guys, go. Hey guys, what's up? No, no. All right. Uh, this was uh, <laughs> this was supposed to be like the new channel thing, but we're an old channel, so we're just gonna act normal. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, yes. We are underneath uh, sables. <laughs> underneath our sables. In the winter zone. And in we're, in a, we're, we're spending our vacation under the tent mm. with the boat. <laughs> You've been asking what is the status of our refit here in Poland and where our port is going to be put on the water. And in today's episode, we're going to uh, tell you what are our plans, what is the status of the refit, and when or if we're going to go back to the water and boat life. <laughs> Okay, so what happened? Will we ever will we ever back to boat life, honey? <laughs> it you're, is you're, really complicated. I'm you're, Polish. You're, English sometimes is complicated. So the uh, the uh, the question I in know, a future tense plus I know, I know is complicated. You missed, I know you missed a verb. <laughs> So it Will wasn't really we good. ever come back to boat life, honey? Yes. <laughs> You're yes. so smart. So don't worry, we will sooner or later, but probably later than we expected. Initially, at least. Yes. But, yeah. but, but it is because we planned so. Uh, I mean, now we planned so. We changed our plans to suit what we think mm -hmm. is uh, the best at the moment. Uh, and what is the best at the moment? So we. We have decided after a few weeks and three serious uh, discussions that we're gonna stay here in Poland for a winter and then uh, and then uh, Rela spring. relaunch in the spring. Exactly because uh, few factors uh, occurred, and yeah, this was the probably best the, the, the best decision we could probably uh, made. Of course. We will see. But uh, why uh, did we decide like this? Well, first of all, uh, we've had, as you know, many problems with osmosis, which took a long time to, uh, to address, to strip and dry the boat properly and to fix all these things. We're still not completely done with the bottom, but uh, it's getting there. Uh, but that's because we kind of slowed down with few things and started doing other things at the same time. Mm. Um, so it's not like we, it could not have been done. It could have been done. But uh, about a few weeks ago, like Anya said, that we, 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 were, we sort of woke up one night and, and said, you know what, why are we putting this, all this pressure on ourselves? We yeah. have absolutely nothing that's forcing us to uh, splash this fall. We could as well do it in the spring. In the meantime, we could finally spend in peace, some time with our families, with our friends, mm. and uh, uh, most importantly, uh, take it slow and deliberately with fixing the boat. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, doing things fast is a lot more expensive than doing things slower. So that's another factor. Uh, given the scope of the, the whole refit, you know, uh, saving money on this one is, is, is also important. So taking all these things into account, not excluding the fact that our kids have seen the snow once in their lifetime and this would be a first opportunity for them to see the change of seasons. Um, all these things taken together, we decided that this is the best course of, action, yeah. course of action to just slow down, take it easy, do everything right, and then relaunch. Especially uh, that we got some experience in taking too much on our uh, arms. Uh, or shoulders. For, or shoulders, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And for those who uh, has been, for, for, uh, for those who've been uh, following us for longer, our story is that uh, six years ago, within one year, we uh, refitted uh, Trimaran from the scratch, mm -hmm. totally. In like the pretty meantime, much we built it. Yeah, we built it, and then we, uh, the, Julian was born, and so we got two little kids, and then at the same time we needed to make uh, make uh, money. We both were working basically more than yes, full time. Yes, plus it was a refit, and yeah, it was like a black hole in our uh, memory. In the memory, so we decided, okay, so let's we're take not it doing slowly, this again. <laughs> because as Bartek taught before, when you when you are fast, uh, you pay more, and the list gro grew. Uh, too much that we expected, of course the budget as well. 
So, and then there, there were many concepts uh, how to get through the refit, because after osmosis and many things, we needed to just deal with that. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, uh, one of the biggest, one of, one of the f uh, biggest factors also was that we wanted to create uh, quite a few, uh, uh, a few uh, uh, significant modifications in the boat. And um, uh, some of them are already happening and we've already talked about them, mm -hmm. like extending the roof, like um, building a new bowsprit. Um, I like moving the whole anchoring system to the central bow and uh, whatnot. But uh, also, uh, we are very seriously considering an electric uh, conversion. And this is not an easy decision, uh, not one without risks and mm -hmm. very expensive one, possibly. Mm -hmm. um, so this few extra months gives us time to talk to different companies, to educate ourselves, to talk to other people who have done it, uh, also to talk to companies who are interested in at least partially sponsoring our system, uh, which is extremely important because we can't really honestly afford one uh, at retail value. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it is our dream. We would love to do it, but we need to do it within our budget and we need to do it in such a way that it's actually reliable, uh, yeah, that it can serve us well important. day in and day out. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not a big fan of a solution where we go about a halfway and still have a big diesel engine on board. I'd like to, if I'm going to do conversion, I'd like to go all electric, uh, but that has a whole other set of risks mm -hmm. associated with it. And we will do soon. Uh, an episode that will talk specifically about that for those of you guys who are interested in mm -hmm. engineering and uh, um, and logistical aspects of uh, diesel to diesel electric conversion versus electric. Yeah, so you're welcome to watch us next uh, week. <laughs> yes, yeah, and so yeah. I think that's it. That's, that's the it update. A, that's so, the yes, update. So that's we stay it in here. A so we're gonna see snow. <laughs> it's getting uh, cold at the moment. As you can see, I'm already, we are already well covered here. <laughs> if we're underneath the tent, it's really cold inside. So today we are preparing the boat inside for a winter. We just made more videos. So we're gonna share with you also with the details on each process as well. Yeah, so. Yeah, so we're going to spend the winter, we, we, don't worry, we will not disconnect you from the turquoise waters and, and the warmth. We have plenty of, uh, of um, uh, past uh, footage where we will probably edit some episode uh, that's still back uh, on the boat in the Caribbean. Uh, to, mo but to motivate us even to, more, to, to, to come back as soon as possible. And, to, and to, to keep you warm. <laughs> but we also want to show you a little bit of Poland and a little bit of uh, winter and a little bit of our, um, uh, how should I say, uh, Family uh, spots, uh, family <laughs> spots, home country, that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I think that will be, should be interested for for at least some of you. And mm. we also um, uh, have started this project that uh, is officially advising other people, you know, on uh, boat choices and uh, and uh, equipment choices and basically setting uh, uh, setting sail on your own. And uh, we've been doing it for a few years, but we haven't been really formal about it. Now we made it formal, mm. so that's been taking us uh, a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. And um, if you need any of uh, our advice in that regard, or you know someone who's uh, uh, toying with the decision of to buy a boat, uh, then please uh, uh, feel free to contact us. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yes, yeah, that's it. All right, Thank guys. You. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing seemed to be a drag. You ran until your legs gave way. You cried and got back up again And it's real to think that I could fly Cross a broken bridge in the fading light Never thought ahead of my two feet Never had a care in the world you see Have you heard from the sky all about it Down the river high tide flows around it Whispers of pines, I hear them sing The more you love, the more you live
Filhos a crescer 